Today on our bonus episode of Clearing the Clutter Inside and Out, we're giving suggestions for picking a professional organizer and or declutterer. In our New Year, New You month, if you're looking to hire outside support, we've got tips. Welcome to Clearing the Clutter Inside and Out with Julie Caraccio. Every Tuesday at 1 p.m., hear easy to implement tips on decluttering all areas of your life physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, and energetic. Learn how to release clutter and get organized to create the life you choose, deserve, and desire. An award winning professional organizer and coach. Julie is passionate about supporting people in clearing clutter so they can share their gifts with the world and live a more joyful and fulfilling life. I was asked for tips on picking a professional organizer and or declutter the other day and thought, hey, this would make a great bonus episode. Here are some things to consider when hiring a professional organizer or someone to work with decluttering your home or office. If you are hesitating on hiring someone, I would encourage you to ask yourself some questions. How long have you had the clutter or been disorganized? Have you tried to deal with it in the past but were not successful? What is the clutter and or disorganization costing you? Money? Time? Peace of mind? I have had many clients tell me they wish they didn't wait so long before calling someone for support. It's a new year and a great time to finally move forward if you've been hesitating. Here are some things to consider. Price. This may be a factor for you. Most websites will list prices. Ask if they have specials. The worst they can do is say no. If you're really motivated, one session with a professional may be all you need. I encourage you to look at not only hiring a professional organizer as an investment, but anything that you would do to improve your life. Take a class, hire a coach. Many times we can get caught up in price and forget the long-term benefits. I recently had my website redone. I try to do as much as humanly possible, one, to save money, but also because I'm curious and I like to learn more. It was so not worth it for me to even try to design anything on the website. The new website that I have is professional. It looks great and was worth every penny. Sometimes we can't see that at the beginning. We can only see it after. Memberships. There are memberships such as the National Association of Professional Organizers. I used to belong, but for me, I didn't get much benefit out of it and it didn't make any sense to continue. But if that's important to you, research the different types of organizations and find someone who belongs. If you are open and find a professional organizer you're considering, ask them why they don't belong. It might give you a different perspective. There are also organizations that where people have been trained, such as with chronic disorganization or hoarding. Location. If you need someone to physically come to your home, make sure they service your area. Ask if there are any additional fees for travel time. Confidentiality. This is important to you and there's nothing listed on the website, ask. If you have concerns, share them. Most professional organizers I know have a implied or written confidentiality agreement. Contractor agreement. Most professional organizers will have a contract they want you to sign. Read it over and ask any questions. This should spell out things such as an hourly rate, any travel time, what they will provide for you. For example, when I finish working with a client, I give them a clutter control plan. That's outlined in the agreement. This document can protect you as well as the professional organizer. Assessment. When a client and I agree to work together, I send over a detailed assessment. I like to hit the ground running. This is something I would look for. Business licenses. I encourage you to look to make sure they are a legitimate business. If someone has a Gmail account, make sure you investigate. Most people will have a website, but I am hesitant if someone has just Gmail. So do your due diligence if someone wants money up front. Some might do this for package deals or to hold in case you cancel. If they do, this should be upfront in your contract or on their website, and they should have told you in conversation. Style or specializations. I am not Martha Stewart and pretty clear about that. For someone who wants to emulate her, I wouldn't be a good fit. 
and that is okay. I can't be the professional organizer to everyone, and I'm aware of that. January is Get Organized Month and a great time to declutter and start the year clutter-free to create the life you choose, deserve, and desire. For the entire month of January, we have special discounts exclusively for podcast listeners on our Declutter Your Life course, either the workbook or video, the How to Get Organized video collection, and the Do-It-Yourself Home Organization Game Plan. The discount code is PODCAST. Visit reawakenyourbrilliance.com for more information. I am going to suggest someone with a similar philosophy and outlook is important. I am passionate about being green. If that's important to you, find someone who specializes in green organizing. There are people who are trained in working with people who have chronic disorganizations. Find what specialties and styles you need. I also believe you're going to get a good feel about someone by just looking at their website. I know that that was really important when I recently had my website redone, but I feel when you go on that website, you get a good sense of who I am visually before you start reading anything. That's going to be a good place for you to get started. Referrals. If you want to know how someone else's experience has been, ask for referrals. Even if someone is new in business, they should be able to give you a referral. Many will also list recommendations on the website. If you're reading reviews, take them with a grain of salt. If they are mostly good reviews, trust that. Finally, ask, ask, ask questions. Express any concerns you have, if you've had a bad experience. The more information your professional organizer has, the better they can address your concerns and make sure you are a good fit for one another. While the tips I've already given you are good things to consider, here is what I believe to be the most important. Listening to your intuition, trusting your gut. It is there for a reason. Most people are going to give you a really good idea of who they are, whether it's through their website, a phone or email consultation, or their assessment. Based on those, you're going to have a good idea right off the bat whether you're potentially a good fit. Most professional organizers and decluttering specialists I know offer some type of free consultation. I would definitely encourage you to talk with someone before hiring them. And it's okay to talk to a few p potential people, and in fact, I encourage it. I think the most important thing when you're hiring someone is that you have a good fit personality-wise. You're bringing someone into your life and home and you want to feel comfortable with them. Even if you aren't there for the sessions, they are intimately involved with your life and you want someone you trust and whom you enjoy having in your home. Finally, be open to alternative ways to get support. Maybe having a professional organizer isn't the way to go. Maybe you need to hire a life coach to support you in figuring out what's going on inside. Or maybe you could read a book or take a course because you're motivated. There are lots of do-it-yourself options out there as well if you're truly motivated. Again, find someone with a similar style that is most likely going to be a good fit for you. Takeaways from today's podcast. Decide what the most important criteria are for you to hire a professional organizer or clutter-free living expert. Listen to your intuition on who is the right fit or what is the right method for you. Ask, ask, ask questions. Let me know about your experiences and if there's a question or a method you use to make sure you've had the right fit with a professional organizer. Go out, clear the clutter to create the life you choose, deserve, and desire. Thanks for listening to Clearing the Clutter Inside and Out. Sign up for our newsletter and receive a free copy of our 10 clutter-free living tips. Ready to create the life you choose, deserve, and desire? Learn about Julie's services including coaching, classes, affirmations, aromatherapy, and her unique How to Declutter Your Life course and more at reawakenyourbrilliance.com. Don't forget to subscribe and join us next Tuesday at 1 p.m. Remember... The journey of a thousand miles begins with one step.